Hello, this is Mr. Deep. And I'm Navigat. And this is our fourth video of the Dark Horse Deluxe Game of Thrones action figures. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's start. <laughs> yeah, Zombie Cat made a good point. They're not action figures, they're just figures. They don't move, no articulation. And here is Tyrion Lannister. But this is one of the ones that I think looks <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I think it's one of the worst, like, worst likenesses, but we'll open them up and look at that a little closer. But this box is all messed up. Like I said in the other videos, I bought a lot of these. Like, a lot. When I say it, <laughs> that sounds... You bought a lot of these in a lot. Yes, a, in, a lot on eBay. And they were mostly damaged boxes, and I got them cheap that way. So you can see all this damage, which I didn't do. But I was okay with that. It looks like it got attacked by a bear. I know! <laughs> What the, hell, what the hell did this guy do with these? <laughs> There's a description if you want to pause it and read it. There's a picture of the figure there. A picture of Tyrion on the side. It doesn't look anything like it. <laughs> well, let's open it. So there he is out of the package. And this figure really bothers me because Tyrion, I'd say, is my favorite character. Me too. And this figure, they, this does not look like him. I mean, it's just shit. <laughs> that is the, it sucks. one of the worst likenesses I have ever seen. His face looks nothing like him. His hair is the wrong color. And why do they make him holding this stupid fucking map? Yeah, that's boring. <laughs> <laughs> like, the side of it that you can see is just a big sheet of squared paper. <laughs> like, ooh, a folded paper. That's really cool. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad you did that. I know. I should have hold him, showed him holding a drink or something. Yep, a big old goblet of wine. That would have been way more appropriate. So this is a very disappointing figure. I mean, they got his height right and everything. And the wow, good job. <laughs> yeah, and the outfit's all right, but that likeness is... That's probably the worst one we've looked at so far. But, yeah, this, this just bothers me. But, okay, the head sucks. We established that, but in the map... And does this look at this? Yeah, it's kind of boring. Yeah, I don't like this figure at all. Nope, <laughs> it, not a single uh, thing. I just they need him to make a new Tyrion. And I'm pretty sure it's not just us, he's like a fan favorite. You'd think you'd put a little more effort into his figure since it's one of the most popular ones. I mean, they got him on a package, so you think they do have the, the likeness rights to make it look like him. But it does not look like the actor. So they could have made this just as a generic, like, this is supposed to be Tyrion, but we didn't get the rights to the actor figure. Maybe they didn't. Maybe there's some kind of thing where they, they could put them on a box, but they didn't get the rights to make the, the likeness of the face. He's just... Oh. Yeah, don't... don't <laughs> ah. Let's move on to the next figure. Yeah, it's let's just, just... Fuck him. Get him out of here. <laughs> Next up will be possibly the tallest figure so far. The White Walker. <laughs> he doesn't even fit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's the tallest because Cal Drogo's figure in, uh, is really tall and also... Well, I'm pretty sure he's taller. And there's also, um, what's his name? Hodor. Uh, Hodor. Hodor's really tall, but I, this guy is huge. But, uh, yeah, he, he also came with that lot that I bought, so he's got a slightly damaged box. Well, pretty dead. Pretty damaged. There's a really cool picture of him on the side there. What? We were we were just saying like a lot of these boxes are sliced across the top. Some of them in different spots, and it's just like, did they like get in a fight with somebody? They were collecting these figures, and the person was just like, you know what? I'm mad at you. I'm gonna fuck up all your boxes. I know. <laughs> like, how did this happen? Like, how is it sliced in two different places? <laughs> like, what? what? How do you collect these and then this happens to all your boxes? Like, something bad must happen. It looks like somebody took a box cutter to them. Like, working in retail, I know you could slice open a box of stuff and accidentally cut what's in it. But it wouldn't be every box cut in multiple places. Like, yeah. how did that happen? I don't know. But. Let's open them up. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the White Walker. One of the White Walkers. And these guys you're introduced in the very first episode and then... They appear very rarely, but they see, they're supposed to be, I guess, the main threat. 
you just hardly ever see the things. But uh, one thing I noticed right away is is I really like the, their blue eyes, and you don't you can't really see the blue eyes. No, you can't okay. really look in there. You should paint them brighter. Uh, you, if you look in there, you can see that his eyes are painted, but not bright enough. Yeah, they should be brighter. Well, the first thing I notice is his fucking hair. Looks like he's wearing a wig. <laughs> yeah, up there it's. It like blends in. It's wispy. And he's he's wearing a fucking wig. Yep, I can see that. <laughs> and uh, these guys are really really wrinkly. They're like elephants. You're not wrinkly enough. We're going to really take wrinkly to the extreme. And that's what these guys are. They're halfway between the Crypt Keeper and a butthole. <laughs> with their wrinkles. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Looks like he has a centipede crawling up his back for a spine. <laughs> so damn wrinkly and rib shown and everything. These things are kind of creepy. And uh, they're pretty big. At least the ones we've seen were big. He's got his little ice spear with his danglies on it. It's a good thing winter is coming so your weapon doesn't melt. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so he comes with the snow base. Looks like it's made of marshmallow. And uh, it's weird they got that seam there on his arm. It's almost like you can move his arm, but you can't. Yeah, Look at his pose. He's sticking out that booty. Oh, yeah, he is. Holy crap. He got a big butt. <laughs> that white walker's got a bubble butt. <laughs> and this has got that real flexible plastic. It's almost like rubbery filling. I am kind of curious about the outfit. Like, is that what he was wearing when he died? When he came back as a white walker? Or did he make that? After the change. <laughs> I think they made it after. <laughs> but it just seems kind of weird. That they would do that. And I guess he has hair. He's supposed to have hair. If you look at that picture. It looks like he has hair in his chin. But here it looks like it's just part of his skin. Yeah, it has just wrinkles instead of like a wispy beard. Mm -hmm. So I think he should have been painted a little better. It's just that he's got so many wrinkles. I think they were just like. We can't spend that much time painting this guy. So they didn't get all the wrinkles painted properly. It did a fairly decent job, but his wrinkles just aren't the same. You know what I mean? Like he's he's still very wrinkled, but they didn't do it the same as how it is. Yeah, it's more lines and less just wrinkliness. So here he is compared to the Funko Legacy six-inch figures. This is the regular one, and then this is the glow-in-the-dark one. Those set to be. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> <laughs> We've sent to be by Shane Pittman. I like that he goes in the dark, but he's fluorescent fucking blue. Like, yeah. He's so blue. <laughs> I think that they should be like in between this one and that one, because when you see them on the show, they're kind of bluish in a way. But this, these two have no blue whatsoever. It's just gray. Oh, it's a tiny bit blue. Well, maybe. But he's like thousand year old papa smurf yeah <laughs> he just needs some red pants <laughs> and a red hat or something but and you can kind of see the blue eyes a little more on this one just slightly more they need a light up feature on these things i would say on the big one they did a good job on his creepy feet oh yeah got them real bony feet I hate feet to begin with, and his feet are super gross. <laughs> <laughs> I think he did a good job on his face, though. It's all bony. Freaking... I think it's all right. It doesn't look like you look at the picture. It doesn't look exactly like him, but it's pretty good. Yeah. There he is next to Jamie Lannister. You can see he's a bit taller than him. And there he is next to Hodor and Khal Drogo, and they're. All about the same height. They're pretty close. And Cole Drogo and the, the White Walker aren't standing completely straight up. Hodor pretty much is. I think they'd be around the same height. Yeah. They're all standing straight up. And there's the Hound, who's just a slightly bit shorter. They kind of got the same pose. 
So I think that means that he pounds a little bit shorter here at in figure, figure form. Well, that looks weird. They're like parallel. His sword on his back and then his spear. Up next is Peter Baelish. Little, little finger. Bingo. And there he is in the package. And you can see it says Peter, spelled all weird. And then the little finger, Baelish. And you can see a picture of him on his side, looking like a dick. Little finger is actually code for tiny penis. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. Huh. He reminds me of, um, what's his name, Gary Oldman. Yeah, a little bit. And there he is. He almost looks like a priest in that picture. He still looks like a douche knuckle. Mm. There's a little description of him. Well... Let's open him. And there he is, out of the package. And even out of the package, he kind of looks like he's supposed to be some kind of religious guy. But he's definitely not. He's like, he runs a, what, a brothel or something. What is his job? He's like, keeps the money or something like that? He deals with the King's Landing? I think so. He's like a treasurer, sort of. But he leaves that position at some point. But... I think that looks like him. It's not the best like this, but it's not the worst out of these figures. Like, I can tell that's who it's supposed to be. I do think it looks like him. I don't think it's like completely spot on, but it's way better than a lot of them. Mm. And he does have like one of his odd expressions. It's almost the same expression that's right there that he's got. Like, he just looks like he's a, a rat-type character. That's what I think of him. He's like a rat, a little conniving. Weasel. Yeah. He's manipulative. and it's a slimy, grimy little weasel. Hmm. He's always using people and, yeah, just someone you can't trust. Hey, Sansa, I can't fuck your mom. I'm going to try to fuck you. And then when I can't fuck you, I'm going to fuck your aunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a... Fancy robe there. A lot of detail on that. It seems like it's more subtle on the picture, but here it like really stands out more than it should, maybe. Yeah, because his actual outfit is like like a brocade, like a stitched in pattern, and on here it's like engraved. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit too much. And uh, it'd be cool if there's a little more detail on these, because you can see there's like a pattern or like. You can see the stitching or whatever a lot on on there, but here you can't really see it. It looks it just looks smooth. Still, they did a fairly decent job. They painted all them gold lines on there. And then to the back. So it's kind of a boring figure, but his character isn't that exciting looking to begin with. But he is a main character, so I think he deserves a figure. And they did a good job making him look like a weasel. Mm hmm Just that expression just makes me think, I don't like that guy. He's a dick. <laughs> and next up is Jorah Mormont. The former, like, protector of Daenerys. Until he got caught. Yep. Fucking shit up. Here's a picture of him on the side. Looking all crocodile Dundee-ish. Then there he is in the back. Picture of the toy. That's not a sword. This is a sword. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's open his cat. So there he is opened up. And he has a very impressive outfit. Yeah, it looks really good. I would say it's almost as good as Jamie's outfit. Yeah. Like, it's very detailed. Mm -hmm. Especially all the little detail in this pattern. And the, uh, on the skirt. I'm going to call it a skirt, but. <laughs> <laughs> very it's well very, done. Yeah, very good. And I never even noticed it's on a show, but you can see it's on the picture there. But he's got like this serpent sort of thing in there. I'm guessing it's because he's loyal to the Targaryens or something. He's got the, uh, Sort of like dragon tails or whatever. Assuming that's why he's got that, I don't know. This 
outfit is really well done. This is like sort of a rubbery plastic here. Even the belts and everything, it just looks really good. Mm -hmm. Look at all those fucking... They have like his little wrap on his hand, his bracelet, his ring. Like They really did a lot of attention to detail on him. Mm -hmm. and there's a sword sheath. is really well done. It's got like little turquoise pieces on it. And his turquoise collar. They did a really awesome job on his outfit. It's really impressive. It's probably one of the best outfits they've done. And they did a decent job on his head. Yeah, it's not perfect. Like, this is one of the ones I've seen in preview pictures. I'm like, that looks nothing like him. But after you open it up and look at it, I think it does look like him a little bit. It's not perfect, but... It's mostly that his hair is wrong. Yeah. Like, look... his, uh, his beard and his hair on his head are wrong. And it makes him look younger. Mm hmm. Needs some more wrinkles in there. Like on his face, he has the texture for the beard, but it's not really painted in. You can't really see it. And then they painted his mustache a little bit, so it looks like he just has a mustache and no beard. Mm hmm. A little and Hitler his, mustache. Yeah, and his hair's too thick. It's supposed to be yeah. thinner. Also, like his, um, the wrinkles around his eyes. Like on the sides are like really pronounced, mm -hmm. and here it's like they're there, but you can barely see them. You have to look really close, and you can see that they try to put them there. So, they so basically, it looks like him, just like ten years younger. Yeah. <laughs> but overall, I think it's a pretty good one. This is one that I was kind of disappointed in when I seen preview pictures, but see it in person, I'm pretty happy with it. He does seem to have just some green in his hair, though. Well, he's been sneezing and here. sinus infection. See, like right here. This looks like a little green. Looks weird. Looking right there, it looks really cool. They did a really good job of trying to get his like scruffy looking beard there. They just didn't paint it. Yeah, it looks like he's got a skin condition. They sculpted but... it, but they didn't paint it. It's disappointing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this figure's really nice. This is one that's really good to see up close. Yeah, it's just like they did a really good job on this, but they could have done a little bit better. You know what I mean? Like they did the trouble of sculpting the beard, but didn't put any paint on it. And it's just, it makes me a little bit sad because I know it could have been even better. So there he is, staring at her like, Ooh, I want you. I'm in love with you. And she's like, Eggs! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to care about my eggs and the other shit I'm doing. Go away, old man. Yeah, well, you don't look right anyway. You look weird. Yeah, he looks way more like he's supposed to. <laughs> She's, that just does not look like her. But... Her face is so wrong. <laughs> okay, the last one we'll be doing for this video is... Grey Worm. The Unsullied Dude. And there's a picture of him on the side. And there's a description, a very short description on the back. So, let's open this guy up. And there he is, Barack Obama, dressed in armor. In a diaper. <laughs> a very big, crazy looking diaper. Really, I think they did a pretty good job on his face. I think it looks a lot like the guy. His hair's a little... Well, it's tough to get that super shaven look right. It almost looks like he's got... Patch, yeah, he looks like he's got patchy bald spot hair. But that would be tough to pull off, so... And the bottom of his face is a little bit darker for some reason. I'm not sure why. <laughs> a little well, odd. Yeah. But overall, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it looks like... A, you can see there he has a very smooth looking outfit and that's the way it is here. So they couldn't put a lot of detail on it because there really isn't any. But what there is, they got in there like that stuff there. They gave him his little helmet. And these weird little sandals. All their strappies. Mm -hmm. Those sandals are way too complicated, dude. <laughs> There's just no reason for all them straps. Looks like he's got some kind of bug on there. And there's a big spear. It's really tall. 
and it's a separate piece that you, well, two separate pieces that you kind of attach right there. But that's pretty cool. And then he's got his giant booby over here. Booby shield. <laughs> you can't hurt me, not with my titty. Oh well, here's his back. <laughs> Better view of diaper. Look at that. <laughs> I think, I'm not sure, but I think his pants in the show are more black and doesn't stand out as much because I never really noticed that he has like a crazy diaper thing. But yeah. He does. It looks odd. But other than that, I think they did a good job. I'm pretty happy with this figure. More happy than I thought I'd be because I looked at preview pictures and I'm like, eh. It does really bother me, though, that they haven't made his girlfriend yet. Yeah. Like, it just seems weird to have him and not have her. Yeah, because he's also, like, always next to Daenerys. Mas Masonda or whatever her name is. The lady with the afro. Their names are too confusing. So there he is next to Daenerys, but that's, like, that's Khaleesi Daenerys before she even met Grey Worm. But whatever. Where they are together. So, that's our five figures we're doing for this video. And, uh, I'm not sure who I'd say my favorite is. I'd say it's either Grey Worm or Jorah Mormont. Why is this Jorah? Just because his outfit's so cool. Yeah, it is really good. It's really awesome. I, yeah, I think I'd probably go with him. I also really like his character, too. I like Grey Worm. But he's just so serious and doesn't really have a whole lot going on. When there's humor involving him, it's at his expense. Yeah. <laughs> not, not him making it. Peter Baelish is just so plain. So there's no oh, one. and I fucking hate him so much. Yeah, he's a dick. <laughs> he's such an ass. <laughs> and uh, Tyrion is probably my least favorite figure out of all the Dark Horse figures we've looked at so far just because he just Because looks... we want him to be good so bad and he's not. Yeah, his face <laughs> is so wrong and that holding the map I don't like. Hope they make a new Tyrion. Let's display all of these figures together and then put the 3-0 Tyrion with him. And he will, he'll be giant. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> he's fabulous. But I do like the White Walker. I think they did a pretty good job on him. I just yeah, just like you say, it looks like he's wearing a wig, and I wish his blue eyes were showing a little more. And I do think his pose is a little odd with the uh, the, the booty. booty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't look. At, pose him this way. So that's our review of them, and there's still some left. That'd be Rob Stark, Oberyn Martell, and Virus, or however you say his name, Varys. Varys. And also the Night King. There's so many characters they can still make, but uh, well, Mr. Jeff Jeff. Oh, okay. You never Jeff Jeff Jeff. Bye. So Grey Worm, what's it like not having any balls? I don't know. What's it like having a dick but not being able to use it on your girl, Daenerys? Oh, ho, 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 oh, ha, 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 Look, look, this looks like a boob, but you know you're never gonna touch Daenerys's boob. Oh, you better touch this one because that's all you're gonna get. Oh, I'll rub it on you for you. Ha, ha, ha. I bet you feel shitty. Yeah, you're never gonna get Daenerys. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Oh!